Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have an unbagging to do today. A lovely unbagging. And this one has come to me from the wonderful people at OneDaySaving.com. Uh, they've sent me some new products to show you. So huge thank you to One Day Saving. Um, I've had quite a few packages from them ooh, for about a year now. So yeah, I love the products. Keep showing you them. Um, we've had some special offers and things from them as well and some giveaways and they've been really successful. One of the uh, ladies that w was lucky enough in the $10 giveaway to get one of the $10 vouchers uh, has sent me a picture of the canvas that she put the $10 towards. So I'll put that at the end of the video so that you can see uh, what other people buy as well rather than just me. I love seeing what people get. I'm like that with shopping trolleys. If I'm following somebody in the supermarket, I always like to have a nosy and see what they're getting. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look and see what we got this time. So we have, oh, a diamond painting. And another diamond painting, a little bit darker colours, that one. And, oops, switch that one over, a special, yay. And then a doll. Okay. So, uh, what shall we look at first? Let's look at the little special first. There are quite a few uh, special offers on that one day saving.com at the moment if you want to go and check it out. If you spend over $50, it is free shipping and also two free gifts. So free shipping and two free gifts would be rude not to. So always go and check out the special offers. The offers are sort of relevant uh, and live as I'm making the video. So obviously if you're watching this, as I always say, in a couple of months time, then just go and check out what offers are on at the moment. And the, the free shipping and everything, check it applies to your country. Okay, so let's have a look at this one first. Yay! So we have a little football in Pikachu. Yay! <laughs> I love my wooden ornaments. Uh, I've done quite a lot of them now. Quite a few have actually gone to new homes, but I have still got quite a few of them left as well. And oh, it's got a hot pink in it. Oh, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Don't look at the gems at the minute. Pen, butter and wax as normal. Comes with its little stand, so you can stand up. And then, yeah, I just thought, oh, look at the attitude on that one with his football. Um, one of uh, Millie Moo, that's our little Scotty dog, hence Scotty dog crafts, um, has actually ta quite taken to the Pokemon movie at the moment. Are you watching telly? Are you playing with your crocodile now? Um, if you've seen the one that's like got real people in it and then just like little fluffy animals for the uh, Pokemons, then oh, <laughs> Millie absolutely loves it. She sits fascinated and she loves Pikachu whenever he comes on. She just wags a little tail like mad. So when I saw this, I thought I'll have to get it. But then also I've seen that it's got a football as well. And I do have a great nephew that is football mad. So he could uh, go to him as well as a little present. Hmm, always lots of uses for these things. But it's a nice size as well. It's the lovely wooden ones, um, which are a little bit more durable than the acrylic ones. So let me give him a quick measure. So the length of him is, see, I think that's about the furthest point, yep. Yeah. So he's about 24 and a half centimetres-ish. So these are only rough measurements and it's about nine, between nine and a half and nine and three quarter inches. And then the width of him will do sort of about there-ish. So he's about 14 centimetres wide there. By, which is about five and a half inches ish and then the little wooden stand i think these are yeah about four and three quarter inches which is about 12 centimeters by six centimeters which is about two and a quarter to well two and a quarter two and a half inches so they're all pretty much the same size these little stands 
And once you've done all your diamond painting on them, then you just literally pop your little figure into your base. And we're good to go. This has still got the plastic on, so it's a little bit stiff to just pop in there. But yeah, a nice little freestanding ornament. He's definitely got attitude, hasn't he? Do you think he's been told that his goal didn't count or something? And that he's saying, well, I think it did. Or is he saying, well, I want to kick off and it's my turn. <laughs> We've definitely got an attitude on that little Pokemon there. Okay, so let's have a look at the gems. So it's just five colours. So great for kids to do if you're wanting to get your kids into diamond painting or just a little hobby to uh, do over the school holidays. Uh, we have a blue and a hot pink. So wait, oh, number four is hot pink. Oh, my goodness. So his little jumper then, I was expecting it to be red. And his cheeks are all hot pink. Now, to be fair, I may change that to red on his little jersey. I'll leave his little cheeks as pink. But I think I might put his little stripe on his shirt as red. Mm. We'll see. See how it goes. We've got our plain silver there. Our plain black. So the football is going to be black, silver and... Oh, I was thinking of... Silly me. Huh? I was thinking there was another colour because it's actually got different shading on the football. But it's just the colours underneath. It looks like it's reflecting from the grass because it's got green around here. But it is just the black and the silver. Um, on the little football there and then number one is the majority of the drills which is all over the little pikachu oh that attitude's just fab um and that's like a nice little sort of honey gold very pretty color okay so quite a nice quick and easy one to do but uh, a lot of fun and something just a little bit different i mean i know it's huge but i suppose you could even use it as a cake topper if you wrap this round with something you know tin foil or something so that you're not touching food so you keep it food safe but yeah you know it could still stand on top of a cake or on a party table it's guarding the sandwiches don't you'll be eating all the nice buns before you eat your sandwiches <laughs> oh dear okay so that's our project number one our little pikachu there right now then this is an easy grip cutter and i just thought oh saw that i like my uh, little blades and cutters and things um i've got quite a few craft knives i'm always into trying anything new and i saw this one and i thought oh well i'm on might i just have to get that one uh, at the moment on the website oh sorry i didn't tell you pikachu today at the moment on the website uh, pikachu is five pounds and 26 pence and this knife set is £1.28. If you are wanting to spend the $50 to get your free shipping and your two free gifts, then, you know, always just pop and have a look at things like this. Um, all the little bits and pieces, it might just make up your uh, order to your $50. So that screws off there. Okay. So, all right. So, ah, now then. So that, all oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I'm just working this one out. Um, it's white. It's got a nice weight to it. It's not real light and flimsy. I think when you're, particularly if you're paper cutting, I used to do a lot of 3D decoupage. And uh, when I was doing the fiddly bits, I always used to use a craft knife uh, and a glass cutting mat just to take like the landlocked pieces out the middle. And you do want something that feels a little bit more substantial in your hand because I am quite a firm presser as well. Uh, so yeah it looks as though you just unscrew that a little bit there and then that makes the end pop open there and then the blade is going to slot in so let's have a look it's like we've got plenty of spare blades as well and what have we got it says for precision cutting and trimming for paper plastic cloth thin metal film and leather the only tip I can really give with uh, using blades is if you're doing very fine work, particularly paper cutting, the sharpest knife possible. And if you are using a particular knife that you do like, keep it away from everybody else. Don't let your partner get hold of it and start cutting up carpet or anything like that because it will blunt it. <laughs> if you're a, a 
if you're a sewer and you use, you've use, you got a favourite pair of material scissors, you will know what I mean because you do not want somebody using your best material scissors for cutting out paper and card and things. Looks like I think there's 12 spare blades in here. I'm not going to count them because they are very sharp and I don't want to be stabbing myself on camera. That's not a good look. So we'll just get one out, put the lid back on for safety. Okay. And let's get this little We just literally unscrew that, loosen that. So does it go in that way or does it go in that way? No, it must go in that way. So we're going to just slot that down. And however long you like to have your blade, just put it wherever um, you feel comfortable with it. Obviously, some people like it to be a little bit longer. Uh, some people like it to be a little bit closer up. Looks like it won't really go any further down than that. So I'm just now going to tighten that up. Is that still a little bit loose? I don't think I've pushed it quite down far enough. Let's see. Just uh, be very careful when you're doing this as well. It's probably better actually if you get your uh, tweezers or if you've got some little jewellery pliers or something like that just to uh, get these working. Uh, does it go the other way? Just let me see. So it's that way. So let me just turn it around to see if it's the same way both uh, goes down the same uh, depths both ways i think it will do but yes that's going down and again just make sure it's straight and then it's just literally tighten that up so that your blade is nice and strongly in place it's got a nice tip on it as well there because sometimes if that tip goes blunt you find that you just get a little bit of a raggy edge when you first start off cutting right have i got a piece of paper that is the question <laughs> right let me just grab my glass cutting mat and a little bit of paper and we will just see how this works right uh, pardon my eyesight it does only have one side that is a cutting blade and the other side isn't and i had it upside down and i'm thinking why is this not cutting why can i cannot get it to cut uh, this special so yeah i think you can just see there's a little bit of a like a um a slope on that blade there a little bit of a graduation where you can see that it has got uh, a little bit comes down to a point here so yeah so literally look i tried cutting and i thought well why is this not cutting but yeah it helps if you actually use the blade and not the wrong end so literally just cut down and look at that lovely straight cut no jaggy edges nothing so for one pound 28 with 12 blades i think this is amazing so yep love that love that and uh, don't forget there is five percent off as well if you use liz 05 off and i say you will get five percent off so you could even get this with five percent off yay <laughs> Okay, as I say, check out the special offers and everything and how they all apply when you get to your checkout. Right, yeah, so I'm impressed with that. You've got your cap to put on to keep your blade nice and sharp as well. So, yeah, uh, as I say, the only thing I'm iffy about is because it's white. I mean, it'll be easier to find because when it goes in all my uh, junk, then I will be able to find something white, hopefully. But it will get grubby quick because once I start playing about with paper or inks or anything like that, and things do tend to get a little bit discoloured, but never mind. Okay, so that's our item number two, our nice pen. Let me just put these out of the way. I do always like to test everything. You know, I don't want to be saying to you, oh, look at this fabulous knife. Um, it cut it cuts really well and i've not actually tried cutting anything with it myself i do always like to uh, have a play with everything and see how they work out okay but yes that one gets a, a definite thumbs up from liz right what shall we look at next let's look at the darker one because this one's nearest to me now these are the square drill canvases both of these that come in several different sizes which i think for um a lower priced company a budget company having the choice of uh, what size canvas you get in your squares is marvelous so well done one day saving okay you may have seen this picture before because i actually have this one on a cushion <laughs> 
owl look with his great big eyes. He's definitely a tool, this one. So it's 30 by 40. It's a lovely soft canvas. This is going to flatten down really well. That's a material that doesn't feel plasticky at all. That feels like a definite uh, stretchable canvas there. It is poured glue, which is wonderful for squares. Um, I have now got, yeah, just checking, yep, yeah, it's not double-sided tape, it is poured glue. So I have now got a newfound liking of squares from having done a couple of poured glue square canvases recently. I should have got these for my 30 by 40 challenge, shouldn't I? Could have got those done, but never mind, I haven't got time to do them now, unfortunately. But they will get done because they are very lovely pictures. So I have done this one in a cushion before, so uh, I just thought, oh, I like the picture. Okay, so we've got, you know, this little big fluffy owl. I'm not going to call him, well, he's a little bit chunky, isn't he? But he's just puffed up because it's maybe a cold night. And we've got your tree down the side here and all your leaves. He is 35 different colours and we have a little like inventory sheet as it were down each side so tells us the DMC code and also the quantity of each of the drills which uh, you can check off that you've got your right amount of drills uh, you can check off your colours from that so yeah 35 colours that's really good Okay, I may have to add a few little uh, ABs, a few little extra sparkles to this one, maybe just in his eyes, just to make him sparkle a little bit. So, in fact, even glow in the dark would be quite good, wouldn't it? Putting a little bit of glow in the dark. Uh, what have we got? Have we got, uh, oh, we've got 3863. We've not got 5200 or 3865, but I could maybe try. I've got some uh, 3865s in ABs, which is Aurora Borealis. So I might just try putting a few little gems in there. Oh no, this is square, so maybe I haven't scrapped that. <laughs> okay, so we have a squares toolkit, which is a little step up from a basic one, because you do get your tweezers with these. And we have got a four play set there, which are the newer, thinner ones as well. We've got a pen grip and a sparkly pen as well. There is nothing wrong with these pens. Um, obviously, it's what you get used to, but you know they work just as well. If you haven't got any of the fancy pens that everybody gets, then these work just as well as anything. Uh, the pen grip just makes it a little bit uh, easier on your hands when you're gripping. Um, and if you find you've got hot weather and your hands are getting a bit sticky, then that just stops your hands from slipping on the plastic barrel of your pen as well. Uh, we have, I I think that one is maybe a 10. Let me have a look. Or is it a 9? Uh, nope, that's a 10 placer. So we've got a 4 placer and a 10 placer. We've got a lot of red wax, which as far as I know, as I don't tend to use the uh, red wax, I must admit. But uh, from what I understand, if the wax is quite sort of pinkish and quite see-through-ish, it's not quite as tacky as the red. People tend to favour the red. We've got a little flat-bottomed boat with your ridges in, so... And it's got a little spout, so they're always handy. And then we've got your tweezers. Oh, they're not bad. Um, if you've not got any other tweezers, then these are handy to use. And some people do play squares with tweezers. Not something I've been able to do, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, by the time I've picked it up, um, I've sort of like gone off. <laughs> I've lost interest, shall we say. <laughs> no, I've... I I'm too clumsy. I tend, I've, I have tried using tweezers. I tend to find I either squeeze it too tightly and it pings away somewhere, or I don't pick it up quite enough and then I end up dropping it. So it's easier for me to pick up with the pens. But yeah, that's I say that's a good step up from a basic toolkit. And look, it's all come pre-bagged. So literally buying one of these kits if you wanted to buy it for somebody as a present or if you're just starting out, you don't need anything else. You've got your kit there, your wax, your pen, your boat, everything you need to pick your drills up and put them on your canvas. And then you don't even need a pair of scissors because these are all bagged up and ready to go, which is brilliant. 
really like this idea. Now then, have we got any indication we have? Um, yeah, we have. I was going to say, the only thing when you do get them pre-bagged is because the bags, although they have labels on, don't always have the canvas number printed on them. So just make sure that you do put a label on to let you know which is the canvas. But uh, well done, uh, One Day Saving, because they have put on these drills, look, DE2647 and it is on this bag with these drills in so if you forget to put your label on at least you have got some indication as to which one this one belongs to okay let's have a look at these colours oh some gorgeous blues in here wow okay so let me just uh, sort these out so 20s, 10s oh that's a big bag of number 30 possibly going to be the main colour in the background 23 uh, 13 18 we've got a purple there number nine it's like play, playing bingo this <laughs> shout when you get house <laughs> okay some smaller colours you know even the smaller ones are still in the nice little grip seal bags and that one's number 20 so that one's over there Quite, quite a bit of 310 uh, squished in there but they look pretty good drills so you do need to do your painting but um can't really see any knobbly bits or trash on there they're looking pretty good for uh, blacks and if you are going to get sort of trash in um, drills you do tend to find it is quite a bit in your black sometimes because they are basically um, one of the most used drills. So obviously, law of averages, the more of something you produce, the more sort of oddments you're going to get, the more, not mistakes, but you know what I mean. So yeah, a colour that's not used very much is less likely to have trash in it. Uh, I might be talking absolute rubbish there, so don't, uh, <laughs> don't come at me, but that's just how my brain works. We work in mysterious ways, what can I say? Okay, and number 11. I'm doing a quick inventory check look while I'm talking to you, while I'm doing my unbagging. Right, 32. It's gorgeous colours in here. And number 28. Okay, oh, that's a nice colour, 27. Uh, yeah, I do need to start doing a few more squares so that I can get my uh, canvas done that I've got, which doesn't have any drills with it. Uh, 19. And 17. Yeah, I hope everybody's well anyway and uh, life is treating you kindly. Right, not too bad on weather at the moment, so I've got quite a nice bright day for filming today. So even though I've got a darker canvas, you should be able to see this new problem whatsoever. Uh, 29, 31, 32, 33. Number one is good old 154. That seems to be quite a popular colour as well. So, oh, we've got an escapee look, right? You can just pop into that bag there just in case but we do normally have plenty left over with that uh, one day saving canvases so i'm not overly worried so uh we'll start at the back we'll start at the 30s and i'll put them away in the bag that way i think that will probably work out better so we've got 35 a nice brown oops 35 a nice brown uh, 34 is like a mocha colour 33 brown 30 oops two is an orangey colour then we've got a jade and i love that colour look at that do you know i could just sit and take these out and just play with them it's terrible i've got a real thing about anything sparkly or anything pretty <laughs> okay then we are Where's 29 gone? I've only just had 29 as well. What have I done with it? 29 is pink. 28, we're back to blue. 27 is a dark blue. Uh, oops, where are we? 26, that, I couldn't quite read that one. Sorry, my eyesight's awful. It's a very, very pale beige and dark brown. Uh, 
sort of purpley brown nice oh that's a nice bright blue and we're back to sort of caramel chocolate color and that's 939 your very dark blue and a rusty color there okay. and the 19 is your like wine color 18 we're back to brown 17 is blue again and another blue whoops nope that's that one burgundy again and blue and blue and caramel chocolate is now making me hungry and uh, that's like a very pale yellow and a couple of oranges okay get these all nicely in order makes it easier for cutting up mind you you'll probably find um that i'll just tip them all out on the desk <laughs> and then purple blue dark green and a beige color and a chestnut color and your 310 black another brown a bluey gray and 154 which is your purpley brown color so all present and correct 35 colors now as i say you can work from your bags i tend to find unless i've got sort of a small amount of colors i can't work from the bags um i prefer to just put them straight into uh, my containers anyway but that's just how I, how I work and uh, if you're absolutely desperate to get started on it then yes yeah, sometimes you can just work from your bags and some people prefer to work from the banks. I'm far too clumsy um, and I just can't get on with picking up that last drill. You know, if you've missed one and you just want to dip in and get one um, drill out of the bag, I find it easiest to get them out of the pots and the bags. I end up putting my pen through the bag and then they all come out. No, it's just a mess. So it's just not worth the uh, hassle with me. <laughs> but I know a lot of people uh, are a lot more careful than I am and can do that. So that is canvas number one. The price of him is £5.82. So, yeah, and as I say, it goes from uh, various different sizes. I'll put a screenshot so you can see which different sizes these come in. But I do think it's a really good step forward being able to choose. Uh, some people prefer having a bigger canvas. I prefer 30 by 40s. They're like my go-to size, really, on canvases. They're my soft spot, shall we say. Right, let's have a look at the next one. Okay, go me being brave. Two squares. Wow. <laughs> Just to prove, even though I do like my 30 by 40s, I do get squares sometimes. Oh, and this one is all in little grip seal bags as well. Um, oh, look at the colours in this one. A lot brighter. So this is a nice spring daytime theme, this one, rather than the uh, darker owl scene, nighttime scene. So we've got day and night opposites. <laughs> so it's exactly the same little toolkit, which is brilliant. Okay. And this one is a nice little it looks actually like a tapestry you know when people used to do samplers and things and it says you are perfect exactly as you are now it will be interesting to see how those letters stand out once it's done because that is a little bit it doesn't quite stand out but once it's got the different color drills on with the pale background it probably will stand out better but if it doesn't there's nothing to stop uh, you just putting it into block capitals um, and making the letters stand out a little bit more. I have done that on the past in other canvases, but I think that will show up okay once it's done and once it's got that background. So we're a 30 by 40 again. We are 35 colours again and it is a nice soft canvas. If you're wanting to stretch these round the frame, they should stretch uh, without much problem because they're a good soft canvas. Okay, again we've got the uh, legend, the key code at both sides with your DMC codes, your codes and however many uh, drills we have. And in this case we have 4,953,3865, so it looks like that is going to be the colour of the background. It doesn't actually look like 
Oops, flatten this down a bit. It doesn't look like that much background really, does it, this one? Is it just me? Do you think that's quite... I didn't think really there was that much background on this, but obviously there is because there is quite a lot of drills. But yeah, again, this one comes in several different sizes. And I just liked the colour palette of it. I liked the fact that it looked a bit like um, a sampler picture or a cross-stitch picture. And I like the sentiment. You are perfect exactly as you are. Yes, that's something that we all ought to remind ourselves each day, really. <laughs> well, let's say we try. <laughs> OK, let's have a look at these drills. Right, OK. Uh, I'll just quickly put them into number order and then I'll show you the colours. And there's our 4,000, what did I say? 4,953 uh, 3865s in square. Okay, so back in a sec. Okay, so we'll start at the back again. So number... 35, as I say, is our 3865, huge bag. Okay. And then we have, whoops, a plummy colour and a nice bluey colour, sky blue. And then a three different pinks, a little bit pinky purple, that one. And your pinks there. Okay. So that's the 30s. All colours are present and correct as well, which is very good. And then the 20s, we start off with a nice grassy green and a little bit of yellow there. And a beige colour, like a top colour. And a pink, like a salmony pink. And orange, that's gorgeous. And your 939. And a dark green and a lovely bright green. And two very bright pinks there. Okay. Gorgeous colour palette, this nice and summery and sparkly i do think it lifts your mood when you see well it does me anyway when you see your nice bright colors so we've got a blue there and a nice orangey and a little bit brighter orange and an even brighter orange wow and then a tint pea green and a hot pink yes we've got a hot pink oh it had to have a hot pink in it royal purple dark green sage green and grass green and then finally we have a sort of a, a slaty grey blue a muted orange a nice red colour a dark blue a nice bright blue school blue that one a dark grey a bluey grey a pale blue and good old 154 burgundy brown colour. So very nice colours. 35, excellent. Well, a huge thank you to One Day Saving for sending me these. Absolutely brilliant. Love them all. Uh, we've gone from a little bit of cute to a little bit of sass to a little bit of love yourself. I think that's really good. Okay, don't forget that these do come in different sizes as well, which is a great step forward. And our fab new. I do like uh, my little gadgets for cutting things. Uh, I've got loads of pairs of scissors and loads of craft knives because I do like to try and find the perfect one. <laughs> Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the old notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Don't forget the Liz 05 off to get 5% off your purchases and all those special offers as well on the onedaysaving.com website. And I'll just put a little, a few little pictures at the end here um, of what uh, a lady called Liz uh, did spend some of her £10 voucher on from One Day Saving. So again, huge thanks to them for doing that little giveaway for us. OK, that's me done for now. So thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.